That's mysterious. So, you slumber sleepily in your room in the storm in the capital of the Rock Hill capital, slumbering in your bed as your dreams take you away. As often with your nights, you sometimes have issues with falling asleep with your mind with its travels and worries. But today you seem to pass into slumber more briefly or quickly than normal. When you do fall asleep, though, you find yourself stirring slightly. And suddenly you open your eyes to find yourself up Awaken in this strange, dark, dank, mysterious cave. Dark, unlit, with no light around you whatsoever. You have no idea where or what you are, but you feel a cold clamminess unfamiliar to your more than normal hot blooded nature. In the distance, you hear what seems like small torch burn light and even small, odd chittering. That you were unable to place. It's uh, for, for any sort of familiarity. When you open your eyes and you start to go, you take move forward into this cave as the echoing of your footsteps echo throughout the area. With the da 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 echoing throughout the cave steps. Upon entering, you see yourself unknowhere to go, but you figure the only way for you to do is to move forward. So, this is the dynamic lighting map. As you can see, you have visual <laughs> range limited to your dark vision. <laughs> yeah, I've, I've used it before. I remember okay. now. Not everybody has. I, I mean, yeah, I used to play another campaign with a, a pro DM and all that stuff so yeah I, I know how it works I know that I move and the shit goes dark and light whenever I go okay so feel free to move your character mm -hmm. okay neat works perfectly so here's wall here's something here's wall as well nice okay then I'll move forward oh boy <laughs> As you pass hate this I... thing. <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> this, this is terrifying. I hate it. <laughs> <laughs> it's great for mood, isn't it? I mean, yeah, of course. But you're going to just fucking sh show up with a Tarasque or something. I'm going to shit myself. <laughs> but apart from that, sure, super cool. <laughs> So as you continue moving forward, those li small chittering sounds you heard before start echoing louder and louder in the distance. Uh, what language Here. do you speak? Sorry. Oh, sorry. I, I speak common and celestial. Okay. You have no idea what the chittering is saying or doing, but it seems to have this dark counter-urge on your very spirit. Can I distinguish from which one of the two, like, um, tunnels is coming from? You can roll me a perception check. Oh boy. Where's my perception? Boy, my perception is so bad. Jesus. Yo, you, to be like so that's where your hundred. five went, was your perception. Okay, it was your wisdom. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it was wisdom. Okay, Mine uh, fucking three, holy shit. Yeah, you uh, you are unable to perceive where you are going as your unfortunately unwise self uh, has a difficult time <laughs> indicating directions. Oh, let's go for the wider tunnel, I guess. I mean, what could go wrong? Of course, I know what I'm doing. Another... Why you... do you do this to me? <laughs> <laughs> go ahead. So as you go forward, the chittering again gets louder and louder. This time you can distinctly hear it coming from the northern end of the tunnel. Cool. Uh, this close, though, you start <clears throat> recognizing not words per se, but emotion of fear and dread. As if something familiar is passing by you. 
some unknown emotions you felt when you were younger that you suppressed in your youth. Something as you can remember as a child. But still unable mm. to sense why you have it. I... Oh no, I don't understand the, the language. Good. You do not understand uh... the language, no. <clears throat> do I know that I'm dreaming, or does it feel real? It feels like, can completely I feel... real to you. Oh, fuck. Amazing. Great. That's what I wanted to hear. <laughs> I'll move forward, then. And as you do so, you see two tiny little chittering imps back and forth, chittering and discussing some unknown urgent business, and as you turn around the corner, your dark little beady eyes turn on you. Oh, just stand there and watch them. Like, try to to figure out what they're doing, or if they are um, violent, they're going to get violent. Do I see them like move towards me, or just stand there? At the moment, they stare, and look at you. One of the imps slowly takes up what looks to be some kind of odd-looking bone in its hand, as it kind of licks it clean and looks over and starts chittering towards you. Mm. looks up and in a broken form of common turns to you and goes ah, pretty one here <laughs> food for pretty and he kind of takes up and looks at you and looks and hands you what looks to be a human bone covered in human flesh burnt and charred disgusting um she'll reach out for it and say thank you beauty doesn't really matter all that much but thank you and he'll t she'll take the sorry i'm used to playing neri fuck <laughs> she'll take the bone it and continue watching Wait, sorry so you, go ahead you, yeah, so you take the as he takes the bone from you it smiles up you with these vicious sharp grinny teeth because <laughs> bones bones cook cook from you Good bones. Right. You want me to cook for you? And she'll like look around a little bit like, if this is a dream, this is really weird. Like, I've had what, weird dreams, but this is taking the cake. Uh, so as you look down at the bone in your hand, as you said, again, with the flesh of uh, uh, with flesh still upon it, with charred ends and burnt sides. Uh, you get a weird feeling as you pick this bone up and look at it. It's it's an odd feeling. Mm. It's not that you know what the bone is, but you get this weird, odd flashback self that you don't so much recognize the bone's look or the feel, but you get this weird sense of smell you recognize. The smell... You don't know where you know it from, but some sort of primordial backness of your head. I'll take a step forward and turn to the nearest imp and say, where did you get this? In the mines, mines around, lots of flesh to eat. Human flesh? Flesh of men, flesh of elf. Flesh of dwarf, all burnt and charred for cooking's sake. Deliciousness, you see. <laughs> it kind of dances off, and it looks like what you see is what wasn't there before suddenly starts to materialize uh, in your sight. And in the bit, in the distance, a massive charred mess of bones and bodies just seems to come alive within the distance and materializes out of nowhere. And you watch the little imp dive into it. Uh-huh. Yeah. Of course. The other one's just standing there? The other one seems to be looking at you with the more thing. It just kind of hasn't said a word, but continues gnawing on what looks to be a digit finger of some sort. Uh, okay. <laughs> um, it's pretty disgusting. So she'll move forward to see the 
tile a little better. Do I recognize any like? I don't. I, I kind of don't want to know any ex any expressions, any people, any like races at least. If they look human, if they look elvish, uh, anything. You take a closer look at the faces. Uh, they seem to be human mostly. Uh, though you do see an elf or dwarf or other uh, various other ra humanoid races, all humanoid for sure. Hmm. Okay, then I'll. Wait, did you say I know this is a dream or not? You Can are I... kind of in that state where you kind of think it is and isn't. You're not a hundred percent certain what's going on. Okay, 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 okay. Then she will hand over the bone that she has in her hand. To the other imp, and she will say, uh, "Thank you. I will continue on my way." The and she will like move around. As you hand the uh, imp Sorry. the bone, it looks back up at you and laughs. It goes, "The cooker of flesh is ready to go to meet one's own inner soul." <laughs> I would do know of my soul. They look at you with this toothy grin. Burning bright it is for all to see. But one has to wonder what will happen when it's released. Interesting thought. And she will cast... Oh boy. What do I have? Ah, a new character, who this? <laughs> what are all these spells? That's why I figured I'd give you this. I just... I'm, I was just, like, looking, like, do I have any fire spells? Like, fucking, yes, of course, you're a fucking phoenix sorcerer. Of course you do. Um, I will just cast a simple firebolt at the, at the pile of flesh and disgustingness. Because, I mean, I know they are resistant to fire, right? They're imps. It's not going to hurt them. Yeah, so you cast a fireball. Just roll the spell for the sake of uh, to see the damage you do to the pile of corpses. Damn it. Wah. Jesus! Well, you miss the pile of corpses somehow. <laughs> <laughs> you know, like a dumbass. <laughs> As you, you, what you, you, you raise the po your hand up and light the fire bolt into your hand and you're about to cast it and all of a sudden you get this weird image passing by you you see burning smoke lit fires and hearing odd screams in your head you kind of grasp your head suddenly and fall and the fire bolt just kind of vanishes from your hand as you do so you look over and miraculously the imps look over at you and they seem to vanish from existence as does the Kyle of corpses look at it like you know that expression like I'm, I'm probably hallucinating or I'm going crazy like uh, and she will turn around and continue walking <laughs> like I'm not going to address this shit in any way or form so let's move on <laughs> as you move into this room you see a new creature staring down at you you're unfamiliar with this creature this form Looks very much like a dragon of sorts, but very humanoid in nature. Almost like a dragonborn, except it has vast, giant wings upon it. It has this weird, strange forked tongue, carries what seems to be like a scimitar, uh, not a scimitar, a scepter, in its bony, on its vicious red claws, and looks at you with these golden eyes and flicks its tongue. Ah, the mistress of is here to speak with me I see Mistress of Flame that is a new nickname I haven't heard that one your blood must be here your soul is here for me but do not worry one day soon you will meet me and with your blood so many things shall be done <laughs> with my blood right I would like to see you try he looks up at you with the golden eyes I don't have to try a thing your own 
the song will do it for me. And with a snap of his fingers, you feel this uh, pulse inside your stomach. And as your heart starts beating wickedly faster and faster, out of nowhere you feel yourself as part of your... seems like something is being ripped out of your body. And next to you, you feel this energy just surge from you as a thing just rips from your body, exploding from you, as a very fiery, smokery creature appears next to you. All things are for you, and as such, all things end for you. Farewell, Mistress of Fire, till we meet again, sweet dream. You see the Ibashi vanish as you turn over to the glowing flame creature next to your face. It raises its blade. <sighs> what about this? this? <laughs> <laughs> Holy fun! Do I, do I know what it is? Uh, it is a bee creature made of pure fire. As bad as much as you can gather, you can roll no me a, a uh, Arcana check to see if you can determine more. Look. No, I'm scared. That is a creature of pure fire. That is all you can <laughs> figure out from that thing. Boy, I feel, I feel like there is energy on these rolls. <laughs> this absolutely shitty. He's just going to sift all my good luck towards the, the the other boy and this girl is going to suffer <laughs> oh honey okay then I'll yeah wait is it is it going to attack me or is it, it just it will be to the point that you can roll initiative just for the giggles of this um why <laughs> okay 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 I got this I got this I'm good fuck <laughs> What the fuck is wrong with you? <laughs> uh, so as you look terrified, as this thing that ripped from your soul looks at you, it lifts up its giant scimitar, looks down upon you, and makes three quick strikes upon you. It's going to just kill me in one hit. Or it'll miss all three strikes. Oh, thank God. <laughs> As you watch, this thing goes, whoosh, whoosh, whoosh. You're just barely dodging out of the way. This flaming sword comes across you. You have no idea, but your heightened senses prevent that the thing from striking you once. Uh, you look up at it, it is your turn. Ah! <laughs> oh, boy, I'm so glad you, you gave me this thing, because I... I don't know what to do! I have so much shit! Fuck. Uh... Oh. Yeah, there, what am I going to do about fucking fire damage? I'm I'm not immune to it, and I, this thing is not going to take fire damage from me, I know it. Holy shit. Yeah, fucking Lady of Fire, dude, can do anything. Uh... Holy... Fuck. Okay, I'm going to... First of all, <laughs> you're having so much fun about just watching me freak out. <laughs> um, I'm not gonna lie, there's a smile on my face. <laughs> <laughs> fucking rude. Um, Jesus. Uh, okay, first of all, action. I'm going to use Radiant Soul to unleash my wings. Because I okay. need to get the fuck away from this thing. Um... Oh, but it's going to hit me if I move away. I'm not a rogue anymore. <laughs> oh, I hate this. Um, fine, fine. You know what? I'm going to. What am I going to do to this thing? I'm going to. Okay, 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 okay. I have an idea. Right. I'm going to cast. Uh, yeah, Maximilian's Earth and Grass, and try to grab it so it's just there and it leaves me it lets me go away but yeah that's that's what i'm going to do oh i don't have it because it's an action <gasps> i know how to play dnd <laughs> uh 
D&D. Sorry. Uh, boy, do I have any bonus actions? No, no, I don't. Anyway, yeah. Then I'm going to use my bonus action to... Okay, yes, I'm going to do this. To use my mantle of fire. Let's leave this all out in the open. So I have radiant soul, mantle of fire. I'm covered in fire and I have wings. That's it for now. And I'm not going to move. Yes, that's it. That's all. Okay. Boy, I'm freaking out. <laughs> so as you do so, the mirror once again looks at you oddly as you pop your ver- your your ethereal wings up into your back and your mantle of fire caresses your body, which I believe gives you resistance to fire damage and... Doesn't. It doesn't. Surprisingly. What? No, it doesn't. Surprisingly, I thought so too. But it doesn't. Oh. It doesn't give me resistance. Uh, do you mind linking it to me? I'm not actually positive. I have it here. Uh, that's how you post it, right? Yes. Yeah. You magically wear for one minute. You gain the following benefits. You shed 30, 30 feet. Uh, any creature takes fire damage equal to your charisma modifier. Well, that's not going to help you much. Uh, whenever ah, you right. roll fire damage on your turn, you gain bonus to your charisma modifier. Oh, very nice. Yeah. Man, that combos super well with your... Uh, Oh, with the wings, Celestial. it combos. Yeah, yeah, it combos super well if I'm not fighting like a fucking fire creature. Otherwise, it's super good. <laughs> Everyone can see ideal fire damage, but this bastard, it's not going to get anything. <laughs> yeah, that's my turn. I'm not moving. Are you okay? Are you, are you okay, there? I'm just, uh, yeah, I'm just rolling his attack. So as he picks up his sword, he once again takes a scimitar strike at you, missing you with his first strike. But then as you feel confident, it comes back with its second strike, slashing in your side for eight slashing damage, with a further three fire damage igniting into your side. Okay, so and 11. Then, 11. And then it comes at you again and then pierces you upwards with a scimitar strike up to your stomach for another five damage with a further three fire for eight. So 19 total. So I'm dead. <laughs> no, I'm good. For now. But I'm not gonna be good for for too long. Um, good. Okay. Amazing. I can do this. Uh, right. I will... Uh, uh, uh. Give me a second to think. I'm so sorry, I'm being so slow. I'm That's not okay, the pur- purpose of this is you to learn the character a little. Uh, 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 uh. Yeah, I think I'm going to... Ah, fuck, I have a shield! I'm so stupid. <laughs> <Good of you. laughs> I just knew spell who did. Um, it took me like fucking ten hours to pick these spells and I don't even remember them. Uh, and I have Shield of Faith as well. I'm such an imbecile. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> um, it's not my day. I am going to go for my original plan of casting Maximilius Earthling, Earth and Grasp. Okay, so roll it for me so I can see. Or, oh, yeah. It's, oh, yeah, it's the... Uh... So it's a strength save. Yeah. Give me a second because it won't let me... Post the thingy. The text. Through like, PM. Because it's not letting me do this. Ah, <gasps> it's concentration. Okay. Yeah. I. Ideally, I wanted to just grab it so I can move away. No, it fails it, so you restrain the creature. <sighs> Victory. Then I'm going to move the fuck away. How far is it? Okay, 15. I'm going to go 15 this way and then 15 up. Okay, it will take an adva- disadvantage strike at you, though. Restrain does not prevent attack of opportunity, yeah, yeah, yeah. it just makes yeah. it a disadvantage. Mm-hmm. Well, all I was going to get. And it hits you. <laughs> <sighs> what a bastard. Okay. 
four. Hurting me. Eleven damage total. Okay. I'm on, I'm a HP dude. And I need a constitution saving throw. Sure, I can do this. Oh, okay. Okay, you're fine. So it's still restrained. Ooh, oh, right. Because I it's fucking concentration. God damn it. Um, is it my turn now? That was your turn. <laughs> oh, was right, right. That was opportunity attack. That was opportunity attack. Okay, as the creature looks at you, as it is uh, set up in these restraint of the uh, of your spell, it looks about trying to struggle itself free. <laughs> uh, it brings up what looks to be kind of a glowing hand at you. As two little bolts of fire, as a single bolt of fire comes whipping at you. Missing you by miles. <laughs> Thank God. Okay. <laughs> what am I going to do? Yes. <laughs> what did I do? Well, what spells do you have? I'll just cry because it's not going to work. I mean, yeah. You have Ray of Frost. I know, but it's like a fucking cantrip. It's not going to do anything to it. Damage is damage. Yeah, it's... Hey, dude. You also have Chaos Bolt? I know, I was thinking of that. Um... Uh... Yeah, I need to get it away from me. That's rule number one. Yeah, I could booming blade him in, like, that's lightning damage plus the hit from the sword. So that, it's an option. Or Ray of Frost. But the thing is, if I don't heal right now, it's going to hit me and it's going to fucking kill me. That's it. That's it for me. So I should heal myself, but... Fucking okay. I'm just going to, yeah, I'm going to use booming blade. I mean, I have to hit him with the great sword and then add booming blade damage, right? Yeah, that's yeah, it. That... Well, booming blade, okay. uh, yeah, you get the add, and then if it moves, it does. So you have to be within melee to hit it, obviously. Yeah, yeah, yeah. then I'll move closer. That's fine. Oh, so move. You, you move your your distance to get to him. Mm -hmm. Okay, so okay. You, start, you hit oh. him with five slashing and you get to roll your booming blade. Hmm. I will. I will. Because I can't do that. Great. Amazing. Okay. So it takes a so he, further he takes... ten damage and if it moves yeah, it takes, takes another nine. Yes. Then... Yeah, because I can't do anything for a Bonus action. Do I have yeah. any bonus action? That's a fucking cleric? No, I don't. Um, mm -mm -mm. Oh, I oh, could have spent. You also add your charisma bonus for striking with your because your yeah. wings are out. Yeah, which is four extra damage. I don't think you add your. Do you add your charisma to bonus to to booming blade? I don't know. I mean, it says whenever you roll that fire damage. And Booming Blade, it's Thunder, so I don't yeah. think... Yeah, I don't think it's extra four. Yeah, sure, yeah. so that your four, though, you would have got for your wings out, so that'll it'll still be there. No. Do I get extra damage? Do oh, yeah. oh, no, 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 no. Wait. You can... Uh, once, once on each of your turns, you can deal extra radiant damage to one yeah. target when you deal damage to it when an attack or a spell. Okay, yeah. The extra damage equals to your level. So, should it be... Oh yeah, six 
extra six. It was to your level. Yeah. Yeah. Ooh, but it can only use it. Okay, so yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's it. Okay, that's it. That's my turn. Okay, the creature looks up at you and goes to make its three attacks. Thank you. Go ahead. That one hits. Oh. Uh, can I shield it? You can. Or is it... Yeah, I will. The two are going to hit anyway. <laughs> Next one hits even with shield. As it strikes you for eight more slashing damage and... Oh, I had to roll something here. Okay. Eight more slashing. Okay. Initial eight one. or just eight more? Eight total, but you also need to make a con save. Okay. That's a failure! I don't so got no this. no longer restrained. <laughs> and as you strike it, it strikes out as the fail, your, your concentration uh, check fails. Its third strike comes at you, no longer restrained, but still missing you. Here you go. I, yeah. Why do you do this to me? I don't deserve this kind of... This kind of emotional damage. Um, does it look? I mean, how am I going to know if it looks hurt? It's not going to look hurt. It's made of fire. <laughs> Jesus Christ! I will cry, and then I will. Oh boy! Cry some more. Ah. Um... I have smite! I'm such a fucking idiot, I hate how it is. <laughs> I just have so much shit. Okay. Uh... I hate time, just watching me cry about everything I have and don't know. Yeah, I'm going to... Work. Give me a second, I need to read. Defense smite. Uh... When you hit a creator with a melee weapon attack, I should have used it in the last fucking turn. Yeah, you can spend one spell slot to deal radiant damage. Okay. In addition to the weapon damage, the extra damage is to the aid for a first level. And goes okay. Up by a D8 for okay. A pass, yeah. Yeah. Go. Okay. So yeah. Then, since I'm less of an idiot than I was a minute ago, I'm going to. Okay, but the thing is, can I cast Booming Blade, hit it with the Great Sword, and use Smite? I should be able to. Yeah, there's no rules right? against it. Jesus Christ, please let me hit. I swear to God, if I don't hit, I'm going to cry for the rest of the night. Can I use my fucking meta magic stuff? Give me a second. Mm, I don't no. think meta magic's oh, gonna I help here. Or maybe. Ooh, you could have used it to cut. Oh no, but I don't. I cannot cast. Oh, but it could have hit him and then cast the spell as a bonus action because I have quicken spell. That's why I took the third foggy level in sorcerer. Mm. I'm going to study this character. <laughs> I guess it's more complicated than I expected. Um, sure. Then I am going to. That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to. Cantrips don't count as a. They're not a spell. As a though. spell. Right. Right. Then I'm going to hit him with a great sword. Hopefully. That will miss. Uh, <laughs> uh flip the bird to this thing and I will will use I will use uh Yeah. I will use quicken spell and spend two sorcery points to heal myself. I'm going to cast uh, Cure Wounds at second level. Okay. Just a little bit. It's not. It's not going to do much, but it's. I might start back from. Ten it. hit points. Okay, back. so ten. Okay, 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 okay. I got this. <laughs> I'm good. <laughs> uh, yeah, that's it for me. This is a fire elemental once again picks up its blade. Swings back, for a miss. Swings for a miss. And that one will hit you for 10 slashing damage. As it hey. 
crushes into your side, removing all the healing you have just done. Uh, unless, can I cast shield? Because it's been it my turn. rolled at 22. Woof! Bitch. <laughs> Unfortunately, shield won't succeed. <laughs> yeah, but the thing is, I cannot escape from it. I see the tunnel, but I bet it's a fucking dead end. Um... Also, Mama didn't raise no bitch, so I'm going to die fighting. Um, <laughs> Mama didn't raise you at what all. <laughs> uh, I mean, you're right. <laughs> she doesn't know that. I mean, she kind of does. She kind of knows. <laughs> you know uh, okay, then I'll... I'll... <laughs> Just, yeah, uh... I'm going to call that woman Mama, <laughs> and she didn't raise no bitch. So we're dying, fighting, standing up. Okay, I'll try the, the same combo. Great sword, building blade, possibly. Smite. Praise gotcha. the Lord. Smite. Yep. That hits. Thank God. Okay, so seven slashing from the great sword. Then I will use booming blade. So two, because booming blade does not get. I'm, I'm paused. The booming blade does not get your charisma bonus. I don't know why it's doing that. Oh, it's giving it my charisma bonus, really? Yeah. Oh, that's weird. Okay, sure. Yeah, um, Blade does not give a charisma bonus. You must have it on your spell uh, wrong. Yeah. No cantrips I mean, add your charisma bo your your bo your casting bonus. Yeah, you're right. That's right. I will. That's how you do it. Yeah. Yes, I think that's how you do it. So you rolled a two, so it did two extra damage. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's fine. And, uh, and smite. Right. I got smite. Oh, oh wait. Eight, Sixteen. Or nine. I, Seventeen. I will use the... Um, Twenty-three. Yeah, wait. I will use... Because it's... I wanted to use the second level, but it didn't send okay, out this roll thing. Okay, so roll another D8, I'll, then. Yeah. Okay. Okay, that's it. Okay. <laughs> Let me go! <laughs> Fuck! They did a lot of damage there. Yeah. No more spells to cast. So, that's it. That's it for me. As the creature once again pops uh, up, it's... Nope. <laughs> Stop laughing, I hate you. I ain't laughing. <laughs> I hear you. You did, you did amazingly well. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> okay, it misses with its first strike, and its second strike hits with a 19. Oof, okay. Can I shield it? You can, if you still have spells left. Yeah, I, I will, I have. Yeah, you put your shield up as... One. Yeah, yeah so we're good. Shield up as it cracks off. As it, the next attack would have hit as well as it cracks off the shield once more. That's a good fight, Fire Elemental. <laughs> Here you go. Oh, it should have hit me. Oh, because it goes for the whole fucking round. You're right. <gasps> Praise the Lord. Thank you, Apollo. <laughs> Oh boy, I'm so so out of practice with paladins. <laughs> That's what this is uh, for. Yeah, you're amazing. Thank you so much for this because I'm just. <laughs> I figured it's I better so to do it now shit. than when everybody's together in a group fight. Yeah, uh, and I'm just freaking out like, what the fuck do I have here? Uh, no, this is amazing. Um, I'm glad we're doing this. Um, I mean, I'm not even going to ask if it looks hurt, because it's, I mean, I, I could it, not it, possibly it know. It seems to be flickering. Flickering, okay. Uh, okay, that's something. I will... <sighs> could use the same combos, the, the only thing that's going to give me good, um, good damage, right? Give me a second, let me read. Uh, on smite because I don't. How many times can I do it? Can I just as do it many all the time? As I don't you think. have spell slots. Eight. 
Hell yeah. Okay, then I'm going to do the same combo. Great sword, booming blade, smite. First okay. level. That hits. 19. Hits. Nice. Booming blade, then... And then smite is going to be first level spell. Nice. It's looking really rough at this point. Ah, but I can't heal. <laughs> Uh, oof, okay. Okay, 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 okay. Wait, I have something for healing. I have a couple things for healing, I think. Um, I think they all oh, require a full action. Yeah, it's an action. And I don't have enough sorcery points to do this shit. Huh. What can I do with the channel divinity? I don't know what I can do with channel divinity. Give me a second. Uh, I'm gonna use, uh, yeah, spectral bias is not going to do anything because it's um, a bias. Um, mm, 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 mm. This is not fair, fiend. So okay, we're good. That's it. I think you're out yeah. of spells at That's this it. point, eh? I have one first level because I used shield twice, and I used smite twice, three times, uh, smite twice at second level. Twice. Second level, one in second level, one in first. I've used it twice. Okay, yeah. It's... Two shield and one one. And your it grab your your restrain spell. Yeah, that's a second level, and then I healed for a second level, and have three second level spells. Okay. I'm just doing the math. Don't worry, I got yeah, this. That's no worries. Just keeping track. Just making sure to keep track. You want to kill me before I use my last shield? I left it there because I know you're going to hurt me. <laughs> and it hits you with a 25 for 5 slashing damage. <laughs> Motherfucker. <laughs> okay. <laughs> it was a good fight. <laughs> you literally, it only had 22 hit points left. One more, sh one more smash like that, you would have had him. Ooh. So as you feel yourself strong really and wide, you hit yourself with a sword. Psh, cracks across your head. As you feel the coldness, darkness take over you as you pass out. And you finally sun yourself awoken in your awaken in your room. Kind of well, cold sweats in the capital. Yeah. By the Emperor's Palace um, itself, as you are spending your days. When you hear a sudden knock on your door. <clears throat> I'm sorry, gotta clear up my throat here. I've been sick all week, so I got a bit of phlegm. Oh, are you okay? No, yeah, I'm fine. I bet I'm over. Uh, okay. Uh, she will sit down on her bed and say yes. You hear the very familiar voice that you've heard many times before as the regal voice of the Eagle Lord comes from the other door. Ooh. Sira, I need you to meet me in the war room. There are things we must discuss. Uh, I'll be right there, sir. Very good. And she will put something on and start moving, like okay. military pace. So as you militarily pace, move through the the palace grounds of the emperor's castle or palace, uh, through the things you enter the what seems to be the large double door of the war room, a place you've been once or twice before since you've been spending a few days since you've been spending some time here in the capital of late. Uh, opening up the door and entering, you see what to be the large familiar room of the war room. With the Eagle Lord sitting at his desk, uh, surrounded by various maps and other uh, papers and accoutrements at his table, as well as two of the very well-known figures of the of the Council of War, the Archangel Angelus and the Pit Fiend Balazar. Ooh, can you send me out the names to write them down? Uh, you should be able to see them. Hold up. Oh, yeah, I can. Holy fuck. Look at those things! If you want better images, ah. this is Angelus. Ah, pretty lady. And this is Belazar. Okay. <laughs> Terrifying. <laughs> and, of course, just so you know, once again, the Eagle Lord. <laughs> yeah, I mean... Unimpressive next to the other two bastards, but like, holy shit. 
feels a little out of place. <laughs> you know? Next to fucking amazing angel and terrifying demon and armor and then sh she's just... A literal demigod killing. as far as he is. <laughs> yeah. Oddly enough, he's the most powerful thing in the room. Wait, does that say something? It, it sure does. He could beat both of those two single-handedly. I believe you. And I am <laughs> both turned on and terrified. <laughs> <laughs> So as you enter the room castle quickly, the Eagle Lord looks at you with his things and goes, Ah, Zero, I'm glad to see that you were able to uh, approach here in such quick time. We have uh, business to discuss here. Whatever uh, you need. The Emperor wishes me to... Well... I suppose I should open this up with a simple question. There's a group we are, have been keeping an eye on of late. They are known as the Shepherds. That's okay. They are... an interesting group of freedom fighters that the Emperor has been keeping a soft spot open for. They have been, as of late, helping cities free slaves and uh, helping war refugees across the border. Of course, we can't officially commend or condemn them for their efforts. The Emperor wishes to stay fairly neutral with their activities as he does. But something of late has occurred that he wishes to have an intervention with. We have had news from an old friend of mine that there is apparently going to be a horrible disaster in the main port of the Hills of the Golden Beard. We are sending you with another representative to hopefully prevent such a disaster and warn them of an impending doom. There is a group known as the Shadow Delvers, and you would recognize the name as a group of, uh, as a group, <clears throat> as a group of, uh, assassins and thieves that come from the Greystone lands of ancient origin. Apparently, the Shadow Delvers have infiltrated the little group and intend to wipe it out from existence before their presence was known. As I said, a friend of ours was able to gather information on this and send this my way. We hope for you and a secondary figure to help you solve this issue and prevent this from occurring. Uh, the person going with you is a fellow lord of the city. And, in fact, is a descendant of Angelus here. It's... he points towards Angelus the Angel. She will nod very seriously, like, mm -hmm, okay, information noted, like, don't disrespect the Lord. Angelus looks at you and goes, We expect this to be a dangerous mission for you, Cyril, but we feel more confident with you guarding my, uh, progeny, if you would. He is one who seeks to help border the peace between lands and does the more diplomatic approach to unifying the world together under the God Emperor's will. Uh, we wish you to help him look after him and make sure that his little mission towards the shepherds in protecting them is completed. But if the wish should pass, we do have other information to be given. The person that has given us this information said he would be waiting for you and the others at the Croc Crow small town to the south of Imperius mm -hmm. or to the uh, south of Imperius and west of Hills of the Golden Beard if the wish had passed and it would seem that the shepherds have suffered a defeat go find him for more information on the Shadow Delvis he may be able to lead you in the right direction for help in regards to them the name of the man I'm seeking. The what? Lord. Sorry. What? The Eagle Lord looks up. I know English. Yeah. The Eagle looks, Lord looks over at you with a smile. His name is... Well, he's well known amongst the pods, but... Uh, he, Mr. Greenwood would be a good way to present him. Mr. Green. And she looks like kind of kind of amused, but kind of don't want to laugh in front of my general. Like, uh. but 
amused by Mr. Green. Yes, you'll be uh, able to find him at his, uh, at the local inn there, I believe, is where he'll be waiting if you need for information to be gathered. Very well. I shall do so. Uh, do you have any questions for us, Sarah, before we send you off on this journey? No, sir. I'm good. Very well. May the God Emperor and the others watch over you as we you continue on this quest, and please be careful. The scenario is dire there, and we do not wish for anything unforetold to happen upon us. Fully not. She will give like a strange look to the to the demon. Because it looks a lot like the fucking creatures in her dream. She will just look at it like, mm, and then she will nod respectfully towards she'll all look of at them. Belazar, he looks, he goes, Belazar looks, he goes, You have something you wish to say, little one. I like the color of your skin. <laughs> and she smiles very politely and turns around. After like nodding, like a little bow, and turns around and moves. As you exit the temple and you you make your way past the world, the area towards Alti goes. After having your mission sent to you, and a talk with the emperor, with the eagle lord, giving you a mission and a disturbing dream, you have no idea what to occur. But you know your god, your mission. You know your thing. You will head down to the local uh, energy of teleportation to be instantly teleport to the Golden Hills uh, as soon as you pick up your secondary companion and begin your mission. And with there, I think we got a nice little intro for you. Holy fuck! What is 